three, two, one. What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan. I appreciate you checking out this video. Today, I'm a little bit, I'm not really going to say I'm upset, but I'm a little bit surprised by the move the Detroit Lions made, and I just found out about it just now at about 4.30 in the afternoon. I was kind of looking through uh, Detroit Lions articles and whatnot, and my phone actually bleeped off, and it said that Rudock had been put on the practice squad for the Detroit Lions. Now, I didn't know this at all. Like I said, right now during the preseason cuts and all that, I don't necessarily follow a whole lot of the Detroit Lions. Now, when it comes to the regular season, I'll be watching it right here on my television and giving my assessment of it. But I found it a little bit, um, I guess, surprising that Detroit, and I'll adjust my screen here real quick, guys, sorry. Uh, Detroit, The Detroit Lions actually had cut Rudock, and he went on waivers. No one claimed him on waivers, and Detroit asked him to come back onto the practice squad. Now, I thought he played much better than Dan Orlowski did. I think Dan Orlowski is still at that. I think he's hit his ceiling. Now, obviously, I think he's hit his ceiling a couple of years before that. He's still making reads where he stares down the receiver. He's not making his progressions. And a couple of throws that he made kind of look still like rookie throws or very early quarterback throws. I just wasn't impressed with Dan Orlowski. And I really haven't been since he's been brought back to the Detroit Lions. Caldwell seems to like him, comfortable with him, whatnot. I don't necessarily know that's the right decision to move the team in. Um, I just thought Rudock played a hell of a lot better. He was making progress. He, I, I think I've seen one report that he made almost 60% of his throws, I think it was 58.8% of his throws. So that's not bad for a rookie quarterback. Now, granted, I know you guys are going to say he was up against second and third string uh, defenses for the NFL. That may be true, but I would rather have him, if Stafford ends up going down for the season, I would rather have, or even for any length of time, rather have him in there than Dan Orlowski, because I know if we have Dan Orlowski in there, it's going to have to be a pretty bad team like a Tennessee Titans, excuse me, Tennessee Titans and uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, which I consider the two worst teams in the NFL right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I don't want to say mind blown. I'm just, I'm not understanding the, the thought process here. And a lot of the people are kind of surprised too. We're like, why are they, why did they cut Rudock and kept Dan Orlowski? There must be a method to their madness, guys. I don't know why they did or why they didn't. I would I would like to hear an explanation by uh, Caldwell and Quinn why they did what they did. Um, now, granted, they don't have to get into all the big explanations, like down to the nitty gritty stuff. I'm just we're just I'm just wondering. He looks like he made great progression. Why did you guys end up cutting him? I don't. That's something that I just don't understand. It's one of the head scratchers for this first year GM and. Caldwell being this, uh, goodness, what is he now? I think he's second or third year coach. Mm. Just, and I know I'm a Michigan fan. I don't want to be this to be come across as a Michigan homer. I thought he was making great progress. I thought he had surpassed Dan Orlowski, which Dan Orlowski, I mean, <laughs> I think Detroit should probably go, they probably should have cut him and put Rudock in his place. Or if they weren't really satisfied with Rudock's development, go out and actually get a solid number two quarterback. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make a short video on this. I'm I'm just kind of very surprised by the move that the Lions made. I'm not really sure why they made it. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Do a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you're a Lions fan, if you guys have, you know, I'm just from a fan's perspective. I don't know why they did it. If you might have a, a reason why, go ahead and put it down in the comments. I like to hear your, your guys' thoughts, too. As always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Have a safe Labor Day weekend, you guys. Hope you guys are having a good one so far, and hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces.